the road closure is going to start in about 15 minutes. The sheriff said I've got at least five minutes to pack up. They're disconnecting some of the connections uh, at the top of the Starship. So I'm not sure what's uh, going to be happening during the road closure today. I'm just going to get a brief video. The robot was out here. I got some video of that. And the E-Dome is there. I'm not going to be leaving a camera here, but uh, I am going to quickly get some footage. Get some video at the base of the Starship as well. It's kind of like a before. You can see the vehicles have moved away. And a shot of the Booster 7. So these are still here as well. The can crusher is still here. Sheriff is down there. All right, signing out. I'll see you soon from the roadblock. The E dome here has a compressed flatter top on the dome structure, so they're going to do some pressure tests on this as well. Here's a close up of that sticker E D O M E, E dome. the video of the starship around 9.52 in the morning. Wanted to get it from this angle as well. So the connectors are connected and they did bring in methane. They brought in the methane last night and this morning. The road closure went from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and it did cover the full time. Here's a short clip of the beginning venting from the orbital tank farm. There's a lot of venting just to the right of the starship there you can see. I'm going to show three photos here. Between the tower and the Starship, there was also quite a bit of venting. And at the base of the booster area, there was a bunch of venting coming out as well. Pretty interesting piece of uh, metal here. Here are some close up photos of that same cylinder structure and a very close up of the weight attached to the side there. Thursday, July 7, 2022, about 10.38 in the evening, p.m. The road closure opened about a half hour ago. And the next road closure is scheduled for Monday, possibly from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Also, there's a tentative road closure scheduled for Tuesday. So the 11th and 12th of July are the next two road closures scheduled as possibilities.
closing out a long day. I know that there was some venting from underneath the over launch platform. Beyond that, I'm not sure what kind of venting happened. I did do a live stream for about four or more hours. And then I ended the live streams. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, Friday. I'm gonna be out here as uh, well as probably the weekend as well. So I'm gonna just keep covering things. And uh, thank you to Tom Tech for the information on the ubiquity for the for that device to send signals uh, about a even up to six to nine miles pretty interesting technology I did look into it and at the end of this video are gonna be some photos of photos of people who have been members of the channel for quite a while I want to say thank you for being a member here at OC Cam, and I'm going to do more to uh, set things. Signing out, Paul Mox, OC Camera Space Corp. There's some kind of venting coming from the over launch platform, it sounds like right now. You can see it right there. I want to say thank you to Eric Beavers, John Lovegrove, Drones Toronto, Moon Duster, Tom Tech, Black Knight Satellite Gentleman, RJ Moen, Wes, Daniel Paul, William Stevens, R Razor Rocket, Carlos Moro, Gavin Martin, Tony Chapman, Jackie Ward, Seth Count, Asman Cole, Yazada, Kay Benner, Sam. Dan Elton, Paul DePrizio, Alfred Martin, Mike Gill, Eric Beavers, Tim, Barry Carter, John Lovegrove, Chard, Elon Musk, Michael, Stephen, Julian, Bren, Ben, Alex, George, Woot, Randy, Wade, Randy, Moon Duster, CJ, Shenandoah Smith, Mom, Glucose, Tom Tech, Case, Rick, Cliff, Ken, Matt, Captain Pike, Alessandra, Jackson, Tom August, RJ Moen, Gary, Paul, Mike, Dennis G, Wes S, Mark Bester, Lynn, Ruben, Stanley, Paul, Ching, Joey, Ian. Members and supporters of Ocean Cam, thank you.